What's going on guys? Rob with Three Strong here. I recently uh, talked about my concept of Little Tank Big Tank and how all the carbohydrates in our body are broken down into sugars which are stored in our uh, liver and muscles and we can only store about 400 grams of carbohydrates. Um, and the fats in our body are broken down into fatty acids and either utilized or stored in our tissue. And so when we do a body fat uh, test, we test for our body fat percentage, that number gives us the percentage of weight, which is essentially how many pounds of fat do we have in our body. And I didn't put a number there because uh, it really depends on what your body fat percentage is. But this number here, the 400 grams of carbs, uh, you know, give or take 100 grams, but that's really all that we have to utilize. So the, the question is, how do I conserve this little tank and how do I burn the fuel that's in this big tank? Because if we look at the energy usage, each calorie, let's just say calories equal energy because that's what they are. One gram of carbohydrates equals four calories. And then one gram of fat equals nine calories. So fat is actually over two times, gives us two times as many calories as carbs. So this is just a very dense um, source, of, source of energy. So why not utilize that as much as we can? Um, so I'm going to talk about how exercise can affect fat utilization. So I've shown you these spectrums here. We have our strength uh, to endurance continuum. This is um, heavy resistance, very high resistance, low reps, and all the way over to very low resistance, high reps. And corresponding with the strength end of the spectrum, we have these energy systems, these high-powered energy systems, which is the ATP, anaerobic system, and then all the way over on the endurance end of the spectrum, we have the um, aerobic um, system being used. So we have, if I go back here, on the left side of that, we have the high-powered, uh, high-force um, movements. And then on the far right, we have the low-powered, um, kind of long-duration, low-intensity um, exercises. On the left side, notice how the carbs are on the left side and the fats are on the right side. This is utilization. This is how we use these um, fuels. So if we're doing higher intensity activity, we are going to dip into our carbohydrate stores. And then if we're on the right side, we're going to dip into our fat stores. Just by looking at this, you would think that being on the endurance end of the spectrum is what you want. Well, this is the, uh, this is the fact of the matter. Down here we have what actually happens. So if you have an, if if you're a relatively untrained person, so let's say that you have a low level of fitness, you actually have increased glucose utilization and your fat oxidation is very low, which is why you're storing so much because you're not using it. You are essentially dipping into this little tank and you're not dipping too much into this big tank. That happens because if if you've ever been out of shape, anything you do feels like high intensity exercise, right? But then as you start to get more trained, this is what happens. The body is very adaptive. So what it does is now your body starts to conserve the glucose and now it dips into that uh fat tank. So now you start burning more calories. And I've already said before that being on this left side of the spectrum is really important because it actually improves your capacity to be on that right side of the spectrum. So if we look at these carbs and fats here, what happens is, is as we're relatively untrained, anything we do is going to feel like high intensity exercise. So we start burning those carbs. But as we get into better and better shape, now what our body does is it has that adaptation. It changes to now you can handle a higher intensity workload and now you're starting to burn fats. But that won't happen if you just start to go slow the first part. That's like, that's like trying to sip through a really small straw. It's just not going to happen. You have to shake up the system, really force yourself to work hard 
and the change is going to happen. You are going to start to save your glucose stores and then you're going to start to burn off that extra fat. Okay, guys? Hopefully that helps. I will see you next time. Bye.